What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a Grand Ninja and Water Compaction Polisand team for Regulation H. Now, when it comes to this combo right here, it is crazy strong considering every time Polisand gets hit by a water move, its defense goes up sharply. Furthermore, we got the weakness policy on Polisand, giving it a plus two attack boost when you get hit by a water move because it is a super effective shot, making this thing an absolute tank and an absolute offensive threat. Well, let's talk about Palisand a little bit more. It's got the Grass Terror type with Earth Power and Amnesia to actually boost its special defense. So if I can go Water Compaction with Grand Ninja Palisand, get the Weakness Policy going, and then drop a few Amnesias, this thing is going to be boosted up in defense, special defense, attack, and special attack, which is awesome, which we absolutely love. This Pokemon also has Shore Up for HP recovery, and last but not least, it has Protect. Now let's talk about Grand Ninja a little bit, as this Pokemon has honestly fallen off in Scarlet and Violet. It's got Protein, with the Cobra Cloak as item, Rock and Liquidation, U-Turn for Pivoting, Water Shrekken, and Taunt for a little bit of support on this team. Our other four Pokemon features Pelipper, Annihilate, Archludon, and Incineroar. Pelipper's going to be great for weather control and pairing up with that Archludon, Incineroar doing Incineroar things, and Annihilate with the Choice Scarf is so solid considering it's going to be able to outspeed, do some big time damage, and we also have Final Gambit on it. So if we want to, we can just go into a big time Final Gambit, take out a Pokemon, and lose our Annihilate at the same time. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right-hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop to this video showcasing Grand Ninja and Polisand in Regulation H. First match coming at you guys, we're going up against a super dope team. Check out all the cool Pokemon they have. Kingdra, Snorlax, Magdazone, Charizard, Metagross, and Scissor. So this, these would all be Regulation H Pokemon. So, this team's looking pretty cool. I think going into Grand Ninja and Palisand to get this video started is in our best interest. Especially with uh, Earth Power, we're going to be super effective not only onto that Magnet Zone, but onto that uh, onto that Metagross, which could be good. Could definitely be good. So, I'm going to go into both of them, look to go for that Water Shrek and boost that uh, Weakness Policy and get Water Compaction going. In the back end, we could go Pelipper and Archer Ludon. That's not a bad combo for us. Or I could just like play it smart and go Annihilate and Sinor. But I mean, physical attacking wise, they don't really have too much besides like Snorlax and Scizor. Metagross has Clear Body. But I mean, Knockoff can do some damage. And honestly, Flare Boots. No, you don't have Flare Boots. Okay. It's good. No, you do have Will O Wisp. I think I'd just rather go Pelop or Arch Ludon. I don't mind that. I mean, the rain, they have no other control. I'm all about it. But I'm looking to get after it with this Sandcastle, right? Sandcastle and Tongue Frog, right? Pretty cool combo. Water striking will do like minimal damage. And at the same time, we will just bulk up right away. So I'm kind of hoping they lead physical attackers. That'd be nice for us. And it's going to be Magnezone Snorlax. Okay, so I'm just going to Earth Power that slot. And at the same time, just go for Water Compaction Boost. If you want to take out my Grand Ninja after that, I mean, that's fine by me. So we'll just go Water Shrek in here. And we're just going to rip an Earth Power right into Magnezone. We think he Terrastalizes. There is a possibility that they do Terrastalize. I might have I clicked the moves too fast, but. Hoping they kind of just stay in here, and they do. Cool. Cute. The protein from Grand Ninja. Gonna come out here. Do. Same amount of damage because it's already water type. And we're gonna hit twice, I think. Get that weakness policy going. Defense are boosted. We love it. Yeah, and we're gonna hit twice. Lovely water compaction. We love water compaction. Such a cool ability. It works. It works so well. And you go for discharge. Oh, yes. We don't mind that. It's not going to affect my policy. It's going to do nice damage, actually, all around. Earth Power is going to fly. We should say bye-bye to Magnetone, and we do. Get it on out my face. Dumping on him. And Snorlax, are you going to double down the Greninja, or are you going to go after my policy? You're going to yawn me. How dare you? Not cool. He's going to get ready to put me to sleep. Do I just shore up and get HP? Do I go for another Water Compaction? Do I just attack? I think maybe just attacking is in our best interest, because they're going to go into Kingdra here. Our defense is pretty high. We might just want to grass Terra. And you turn out of here. Now I'd rather you turn into uh, King Dread instead. Not too worried about Snorlax. But look at these stats that I got going here. Let me see your stats. Let me see your stats, Palisand. Plus four defense, plus two attack, plus two special attack. That is huge. So yeah, for Palisand, I think we just go into here. Do I amnesia boost or do I just earth power attack? I think we just earth power attack. We go into uh, this King Dread slot. Yeah, I'm not really ready to take a Kingdra Hydro Pump, right? It's just 
like, that would just do too much damage to my boy, so. I'm gonna go into this Grass Terror. Look to get ripping with this. We are gonna go to sleep next turn, which is a little annoying, but if I get off another Earth Power, get off some big-time damage, that's good for me. So you turn Pivot with uh, Greninja. I can go into Pelipper if I want to. I really don't want to go into Pelipper, so I'm gonna go into Arch Ludon instead. Just for the sheer fact is, I don't want to give this Kingdra Rain Boost. And I have Assault Vest, so if Kingdra wants to attack this slot, we're going to be able to soak it up. But Ice Beam going to fly here. There's no shot you went for Ice Beam. I mean, that works, but it does more damage. Went for Ice Beam over a water move. You got Shell Bell. Wow, that's weird. Earth Power. Can you just KO? All day, Palisan. All day. All day. So we kind of wasted a Terra. I mean, Ice Beam would have done the same amount of damage either way. And Snorlax is just going to stick with the Yawn. How dare you? How dare you? Now he knows we're both Yawn. I might hard swap into Pelipper here. Really don't want Arch Loot on going to sleep. Palisans should be able to soak up a couple shots. Especially because they have two physical attackers on the field and we are so bulked up on defense. That yeah, we're going to swap into Pelipper here. And then we are just going to rip an Earth Power. Hopefully, we won't wake up this turn, but... If for some reason the Poke guys are just like, hey, you get a zero turn sleep, the first ever zero turn sleep, we'd wake up and dump on this thing. Let's see what they end up choosing to do, because again, we're plus four on defense. That's massive. That's a lot. Maybe you should have opted to go for a shore up just to get some HP back. But in this situation, I think we're, we're fine with just like swapping out here and seeing what Snorlax wants to do, because it's just been yawning my Pokemon. Double yawn. That's why I said I'm not too worried about Snorlax. It's not going to hit for too hard. It's really just here to put my Pokemon to sleep. So if I can get rid of this uh, last right side Pokemon, we'll just be like a 2v1, 3v1, 4v1 up against the Snorlax and we can just win this match, no problem. So I'll bring out the Pelipper, the Paloops, and he's going to end up launching a Psychic in this slot. And wow, you're special attacking? It's a little odd. It's a little odd. So I guess that's what you get on the casual ladder sometimes. And he's going to go for a Screech. What is going on? You're just lowering my defense? Is this what the Snorlax is here for? Just to pester and be annoying? Hmm. Here we are just going to drop a Weather Ball, and let's just attack this uh, Metagross slot. And if you can wake up, that'd be huge. I might as well go for Protect. Gotta wake up. One turn sleep. I never get these sleep, so I know I'm pretty much going to be asleep. I'd be super surprised. I'm finally going to see their Terra pop out. The Terrastalization flies out here. It's going to go into Metagross. Go like Fire or something. Steel. So he's just looking for Steel damage here. Um, I'm kind of hoping that if you're going to go for a another move it'd be like a steel physical attack move into Polisand because I think Polisand might be able to soak. Well the ball does outspeed which is nice. How much damage are we doing to Metagross? A lot. That's a lot of damage. He's gonna go for flash cannons. This thing's just ripping special attack moves. He's gonna get rid of my Polisand with this shot. Kinda sucks but Polisand got some work done. Um Snorlax probably can't KO Pelipper. Actually it definitely can't. We have Focus Ash on it. And I can just bring out Water Shrek and Grand Ninja to kind of clean up this match. I'm gonna go for a yawn, yo. This Snorlax is starting to annoy me. You better knock it off, Snorlax. You better chill on me. You better chill on me. So here we'll bring out Grand Ninja. We will just go for a Water Shrek and just take out this, uh... Just to take out this Metagross. And we'll go for a Weather Ball. Just to deal as much damage as we can to Snorkel. Snorkel. Snorlax. <laughs> That's what you get for mixing Snorlax and, uh, Palisan. Snorkel. Because you're on a beach. <laughs> but yeah, Water Shrek and... We'll go into uh, Weather Ball here too. Weather Ball should still be able to deal a nice amount of damage to Snorlax. But Water Shrek is going to be able to finish off this Green Ninja. No problem. No problem. Metagross gone. Metagross gone. So, really thriving out in this first match. Green Ninja and Palisane getting after it. Um, how much damage is this Weather Ball going to do? I don't think he's going to KO. No shot, right? Yeah, no, this thing's bulky. He's a bulky boy. And this Snorlax has done nothing. I guess he's just here for support, but I guess going up against a casual player. I don't know what to tell you guys. Hopefully he gets some better matches in match number two. But from here, we'll take this win all day. We'll launch a Hurricane. We will launch a Liquidation because it should KO. It should KO in the rain here. And GG's to our opponent. We start off this video 1-0. Match number two on its way, and it looks like we're going up against a pretty good Regulation H team. They got Torkoal pairing up with Venusaur. They got Hisuian Samurott. Grimmsnarl, who could be annoying. Dusclops alongside with Salazzle. So we definitely need Pelipper in here because we can't just let him get Weather Control, right? We could go Palisand Greninja. That's not a bad combo here considering we do have Grass Terra. 
But I think we should lead them with Pelipper and Arch Ludon in the back end. Honestly, I could go like maybe Annihilate turn one just to go for like final gambits. But I like these two right here. I like these two. Plus, that's what the video is about. We're showcasing policy and Angry Ninja. So I'm actually just going to go into the same squad as we had last game. I think it could work out really well. If they want to lead Torkoal Venusaur, we'll just hard swap into Pelipper turn one. Um, other than that, we're just going to set up Water Compaction. Maybe go for an Amnesia. It's not a bad idea. Because if turn one, I just go for like Water Shrek and with Amnesia, we'll be sitting plus two special defense, plus four defense, plus two attack, and plus two special attack. So that'd be just absurd. And then I'll be bulky enough to just start going for sure up, kind of heal myself up, and go from there. But I do have the Grass Terror type to kind of help us out up against this Venusaur, but the only problem is Venusaur's probably going to be pairing with Torkoal. So if I choose to Terrastalize, we got to watch out for those Fire Moves. All right, let's see who they got. Let's see what you got. Grimmsnarl and Dusclop. Okay, so yeah, we are totally going for water compaction here. All day water compaction. Could burn me, Dusclops. Could be rather annoying, but I think just going for this. Could actually taunt you. We know you have the EVO light. Um, I'm just going to do this. I'd rather just go for water compaction this turn with Amnesia. Seems like a smart play for us. I got Cobra Cloak on Grand Ninja, plus some Ghost type on uh, on Palisand. So if Grim Snarl does end up having Fake Out, we'll just bypass it. I kind of hope you do have Fake Out. There we go. Getting out my boy again. Palisand, actually shiny Palisand. Looks so sick. So some beaches do have like that black sand, and that's what it looks like. So that's such a cool shiny. Hopefully that's what it's based on. Well, my favorite part about Palisand is the little sh uh. Sh Shovel, the pail, just spinning in its head. It's just hilarious. It is just hilarious. The water compaction going crazy here. We hit three times with it, so we're plus six on defense already. He's going to have to go for a Thunder Wave. So I think maybe just taunting up on both these Pokemon could be good for us. Could be very good for us. I'm out here. I'm Amnesia boosted. Um, I'm going to want to go for a short up next turn. I'm going to go for Shadow Ball. Oh, that's looking a little scary. Good thing I did go for Amnesia. Oh, I soaked that really well. I soaked that really well. So from here, honestly, I'm just going to Taunt Grim Snarl, and I'm just going to go for a Shore Up. Get back some HP this turn. Let's get back some HP, because honestly, you're not doing that much damage here. Best cops. You simply are not. We're plus six on defense. Water Shark can hit three times. So we're plus six on defense. And he's just plus two. I'd love to get off another Amnesia. He's going to end up withdrawing Grim Snarl. Okay. So Grim Snarl with the withdraw, you're gonna go into Torkoal, and this is where we're gonna hard swap. Obviously, our uh we're obviously gonna hard swap our Greninja here in the Pelipper. So we're gonna get this rain cooking. I go for sure up. Beautiful. Mmm, HP. Give it all to me. Bring me back up the full baby. There it is. You're gonna go for a will o -Wisp. Good thing I am special attacking, so we will take some slow chip damage, but other than that, we should be fine here. Other than that, we should be fine. The defense bulked up. Special defense bulked up pretty good. Uh, let's swap the Gren. Straight into Pelipper. Get this Sun. And then we're just going to go for Earth Power and send it over into the Torkoal slot. Looking to dump on the boy. Plus two. Special attack from a Palisane. Looking to dump on the Torkoal. So, good thing he opted to go for Weather first because we need this Weather Control. We're going to swap into not only our Pelipper, but our Shiny Pelipper. Good old green Pelipper. Earth Power flies. We'll say bye bye to We have weather control for the rest of the match. Yo, Palisand's a crazy threat here. He's kicking it today. He's kicking. He's going to end up popping Trick Room. I, I wanted to taunt the Scots originally, but since he brought out weather, I kind of had to. So I take a little bit of burn damage. I'm not too worried here. Trick Room honestly might help out Palisand. If you bring out faster Pokemon, I mean, you got Grimstone. I'm not worried about Grimstone. Let's be honest here. Not to worry about Grimmsnarl. And we can start launching Weather Balls. I could double down, uh, but I think, honestly, Earth Power can do a lot of damage to Grimmsnarl. Maybe even KO it. And they just cancel match. So Palisand sets up. We pick up a KO on the Torkoal. We take another easy win here in Regulation H. Final match coming at you guys. And this team right here is actually from a couple formats ago. And it's a really strong team. It's not going to be legal in Regulation H due to one Paradox Pokemon. But still, we're going to have fun with it in this uh, casual ladder video and look to grab ourselves another win but they got scream tail they got to tell with shadow tech so they're probably looking to just go like parasol here 
kind of do it that way. I could go into Polisand and Greninja, or I could just go like a final Gambit Pokemon. But uh, got to tell, are you Ghost? I kind of got to look that up. Are you Ghost typing? Because you might not be. Gothitelle. I think I got an extra monitor. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? No, it's just straight psychic. So I'm going to go Annihilate here. I don't mind just like final gambiting down this, this Gothitelle here. I'm cool with that. So I'm going to go Annihilate here. I'm going to try stuff a little bit different here. Um, we're going to go Greninja. I think we... Do we go Greninja? No. Good lead, Pelipper. Pelipper's not bad. I could go Archaludon. Um, bum, 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 bum. Could go Incineroar. We're going to go Incineroar here. We're going to bring Archaludon. And last but not least, we're going to go Pelipper. So this final match, we're not using Grand Ninja Policy. And I feel like I showcased them really well already. So I'm cool with not bringing them. We're kind of looking for that perfect record, right? Kind of looking for that perfect record. So if they do go Gothitelle, I think we can just launch a final game. But just kind of cancel that out. Because I would love to get rid of Gothitelle. In, uh, in, uh, what's it called? I would love to get rid of Gothitelle in exchange for my Annihilate. So we're going to intimidate this Palafin. Chances are Palafin is just hard swapping. So I thought you go for a flip turn here. And we're just going to final gambit you. All right, Gothitelle, see you later. So who could they actually parting shot or flip turn into? Arcanine. What remains? Scream Tail is a good one. We're just going to rip a knockoff. We're just going to take off whatever item. Palafin protects. That's fine. Elephant protects. And then Gothitelle protects. So we just reading out what we have. Really just reading out what we have. So he sees that we're final gambit. Um he sees we're going for a knockoff here. I could honestly just final gambit this right slot now. Just switch it. I think I'm cool with doing a little flip flop because I don't think you're gonna thrash slice Gothitelle anymore. I think, we, I think we flip flop it. I think we go for the quick old flip flop here. Because you might hard swap Gothitelle into like Fluttermane now if you have it. And I know you're looking to swap Palafin. It's minus one plus. It's not in zero form yet. So we went with the flip flop. We went with the flip flop. We went, we went final gambit. Knock off. We just switched them. Then a little flip flop just to throw off our opponent here. But I think he wants to try to swap in the Fluttermane. That's, that's, that's the big thing. Let's see. There's the Gothel in the Fluttermane. Go ahead. Show it to me. Show it to me. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. That's too easy to flip-flop work and we get rid of Palafin. That's huge. That's huge that we got rid of Palafin. And now we can knock off the Fluttermane. Yeah, you weren't expecting that. You weren't expecting the flip-flop. No shot. No shot you were expecting flip-flop. Knock off flying through here. Bop. Big time damage too. Big time damage on the Fluttermane. Monstrous damage. Um, I'm cool with going in Pelper here. Setting the rain because they have no weather control. They might go in like Arcanine and intimidate me. And if you go into anybody other than Gothitelle, we might just hard swap our Incineroar. Or we might just stick with a knockoff and just attack here. And you're going to go back into Gothitelle. So you can fake me out, Gothitelle. That's fine if you want to. What's your speed pelper? Is it worth setting up a tailwind? Maybe. You might just want to double down into Fluttermane here, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I think double down into Fluttermane is definitely your best bet. This Gothitelle is probably going to fake out if we can get rid of Fluttermane. Huge. This Gothitelle is not really that big of a threat. Its ability kind of like keeps you on the field because it's Shadow Attack. You can't switch. And in, in, in itself, that's kind of a threat, but attacking wise, it's not really a threat. So we double down into you, and we're just going to take out this uh, Fluttermane here. So Fluttermane's going to be gone. We have three turns now. We still have an uh, Arch Ludon in the back end, who I think could 1v1 pretty much anybody on their team. And with this amount of turns left, I think we have a shot at picking up a KO. But all I have to do, again, is just probably pick up one KO. Just probably just pick up one KO. And Archer and can really do it. Let's see who their final Pokemon is. Is it going to be Screamtail? Is it going to be Arcanine? It's going to be Screamtail. All right, I can deal with it. I can deal with it. We could see a double protect. Um, I think we double down in the Gothitelle these next two turns. 
I thought I was gonna protect here. I kinda I kinda know that, but you might both double protect. I'm gonna double down to Gothel. I'm gonna double down. It could protect this turn. And it does. Mm, my lord, I hate this game. We're gonna do the same thing next turn as well. Are you double protecting at least? They go for disabled. And you're gonna take away my weather ball. How dare you? How dare you take away my weather ball? Not cool. Not cool. So we have one turn left before we just parasol drop out here. Um, yeah, we're gonna double down to Gothel again. Disable. How dare you? At least we still have Hurricane, you know? A little Hurricane, we will go for a knockoff. They still have Terra, which is annoying, but we're still gonna launch it here. We are still gonna launch it. I swear, if you go for double protect and land it, I'm gonna be so upset. <laughs> I'm gonna be so upset. He's getting 1v1 situation. I don't I do not mind my Arch Ludon. Just ripping here. But Parasong is just so good with Gothitelle. It really is. But now I'm in their head because last time I flip flop moves. Now he's probably sitting here like, is he gonna flip flop moves? And I'm not. I'm just staying with the same same turn I, that I did last time. Same thing that I did last time. But instead of Weather Ball, we're using Hurricane, obviously. It does a little bit less damage, but better than nothing, right? Better than disabled weather. Alright. Make a move. Do something. Other than landing a double protect, right? Or Terrasalize. We don't want Gothel Terrasalizing. We want Gothel just to say it's typing. Do its thing. And wow. Did you run out of time? I think you ran out of time. And fake out just in your top slot. He's gonna encore me. Cool, that's fine. I'll encore into a knockoff. That's totally fine by me. And yeah, we're gonna win this match, no problem now. Is Hurricane gonna chip up good damage? Knockoff's gonna be able to finish off Gothel. Bye bye. I'm pretty sure they ran out of time there. And they just ended up using their first move on uh both both their Pokemon. Because that's what happens. Whenever you're building a team, make sure your first move. Oh, we still have another turn. Oh, that's cool. But make sure your first move, whatever's in the top slot, is something usable. Because if you run out of time on your move timer, it's going to use that move. And that's what I think happened in that last one. But from here, we'll just go Hurricane. Maybe we'll just go for a knockoff. And they just cancel the match at 3-0 today with this Palisand and Greninja team. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, having fun on the Regulation H Casual Ladder. Using Greninja and Polisand today and absolutely cooking. Going 3-0, love this combo so much. We had Annihilate, Arch Luda, Incineroar, and Pelipper, who we all used in that final match, and they did fine by themselves, so this whole team, absolutely amazing. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me, and if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend the positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.